Today we're talking about Blast Furnace, and I want to get into the video as fast as possible. But before we do, 98% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you see my content before and you like it or you like this one, be sure to subscribe. With that being said, let's get into the video. We're going to break this down perk by perk for each column, and then we're going to go with combos that I think work great together. So in column one, good perks I would consider would be Zen Moment, Keep Away, Perpetual Motion, or Head Seeker. And for PvE, you have Kinetic Trimmers. There's also the option of Shoot to Loot, whereas when you enhance it, you will get 5 base range added to your weapon. And while I don't recommend Shoot to Loot, if you're a madman just want that 5 range, go for it. Uh, in that final column for Crucible, we have Kill Clip and Rapid Hit being the two biggest perks here. And for PvE, I'm definitely either going to go one for all. There is the option to go Frenzy because this thing has pretty poor reload speed. And if you guys don't know, whenever you get Frenzy going, it gives you max handling and max reload speed. So definitely a good choice there. But if you just want damage, you're going to want one for all. The role that I settled with for PvE is Kinetic Tremors 1 for all. I love the role. If I got one with Frenzy, I wouldn't be mad. The only one I wouldn't take would be Kill Clip, and that's because Kill Clip actually doesn't affect Kinetic Tremor damage. Some people are going to ask about Firefly, and I just don't like Firefly on a Pulse Rifle because of the burst. I like it on single fire weapons like hand cannons or something like a Scout Rifle. So before we talk about the perks, I want to talk about the recoil direction. So normally I go over recoil direction pretty thoroughly, and the base is 65, and it's great. It's perfectly vertical. Anything other than 65, 95, and 100 is trash. So you can sit at 65 at base. If you throw on either extended or chambered, you sit at 75, and it doesn't feel as good. You can sit at those and then throw on a counterbalance, and you'll be looking at 90, which also doesn't feel great. So if you're going to throw on a counterbalance, throw it on with arrowhead so you can sit at 100, or just don't use a counterbalance mod at all and sit at 95 with arrowhead, which is pretty good. On to the rolls that I'm looking at. So Zen Moment Rapid Hit is going to be your stability roll. If you're going to do that, you're going to want to build into range. So you're going to want accurate rounds. You might want a handling masterwork or range masterwork. Um, if you're going to go Head Seeker Kill Clip, you're probably going to want a little bit of everything on this weapon. So you're going to want some stability, some range. So, you know, break it up between your masterwork and your mag and everything. So your mag, you're going to want accurate because there's no negative benefits because steady rounds does give you a minus five range. So we're going to go accurate we're going to go a stability masterwork and then if you want arrowhead go that or you can go flute of barrel for that extra handling and stability because handling on this thing is the worst stat and it really needs it in my opinion and that's honestly the role as I, that I was looking for was Headseeker Kill Clip. And it is able to kill outside of ranges. Headseeker helps secure those two taps. But you don't need either of those perks to secure the two taps. The gun feels phenomenal by itself. Other role I'm looking for is Headseeker with Rapid Hit, which max stacks of Rapid Hit. I'm sitting at maximum reload speed nearly, maximum stability with that fluted and accurized with a stability masterwork. And I love Headseeker. I love Rapid Hit. This is the role I'm looking for. You can go perks like Keep Away and get yourself at max range, but at that point, you're hitting a cap that you shouldn't be playing in to begin with because the weapon's stats are already so juiced. And Perpetual Motion times 2 can almost get you to max stability with a stability masterwork, so also a pretty decent option there. Depending on how you play is going to depend on what you're going to want. If you want something that's going to be more stability focused, you're going to want that Zen Moment Rapid Hit or even Head Seeker Rapid Hit roll. And if you want something for slaying out, you're probably going to want Head Seeker with Kill Clip or Zen Moment with Kill Clip. And if you're a big fan of Perpetual Motion or Keep Away, feel free to use them. Don't let me keep you from using them. Uh, they're fantastic options. They're just not as good as the other options, in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing because it really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be.